Okay, it's a very simple process, but be sure to click the like button because without that like button, there is no channel. First thing to do is go to amazon.ca or .com or .uk, wherever you are in the world. Then in the upper right hand corner, left click on account and lists. And then you will left click on your account. Then you'll have to scroll down again and then left click on request your information. At the top here, you'll have to left click select data category and then left click your orders. And then after that, left click on submit request. Now you're not quite done. You have to go to your email that is connected to your Amazon account and you need to confirm the request. It's just part of their security measures. So here you'll see I'm going to my Gmail account and I'm going to left click on your data request confirmation. Once I've clicked on that, I'm going to scroll down and left click on confirm data request. And now they are processing your requests or my request. So expect it to take 24 to 48 hours. For me, it actually takes only about two hours before I get an email back with the information, which I'll show you now. But before I do, if you've come this far, please click on the like button for this video. Much appreciated. So here I've got a new email from Amazon, your data request. So I'm going to left click on the Amazon email, then left click on download data. And here's where you're going to do a security check. So I'm going to enter in my password for Amazon, left click sign in. And now they're asking for a confirmation code that they've just sent to my email. And so I'm now going to left click on the email and I'm going to copy this code or write it down. And then I'm going to enter it in and then left click on submit code. Now you see you finally got the file. So I'm going to left click on download file and choose to put it on my desktop. Now it might take a little bit more time for you to download. Your internet may be slower than mine, so just make sure the download is complete before you try to access the file. So here on my Mac desktop, I'm going to left double click on your orders, which is going to unzip the Amazon files. And here are all my receipts, invoices, data, of my Amazon usage all in one folder. You can see I've got all of my subfolders. There is a lot of data here and I had to blur it out because it's my private data. However, it is a great thing to have as a backup for your taxes, especially if you get audited. You want something like this because Amazon won't necessarily keep your records forever. So I'll always have a copy of all of these spreadsheets with all of my orders and invoices. Just for tax purposes, you never know. And that's about it. If you like my video, go and watch some of the other videos I've got and be sure to click on the like button, subscribe and or comment. Any one of these three things, especially hitting the like button, will help my channel so much. Have a great week.